All right, hey, welcome to another edition of Run Buck on Games. I'm Run Buck. I've got a tool edition for you. Uh, taking a look at a Clash Royale. I had created, as you can see here, an Excel spreadsheet uh, back in the day when First Royale came out to the general population, uh, trying to compare cards more accurately. And so, basically, what this is is a I took all the data you see on Clash Royale Wiki and put it into Excel for all levels for all cards. And so what that allows me to do is it looks like there's just the cards right here, but like let's zoom in on, I don't know, Hog Rider. And if I change the level, watch how the stats change. Whoops. Did you see that? Here, let's change it again. 10. See how it changed? So in a, in a real-time fashion, you can very quickly just basically key your deck and the goal isn't so much like well all I can do you know like that in itself is you know changing level for hog rider you can look that up as fast as I keyed it in Excel but then to compare cards between each other very quickly that's where this Excel tool starts to really shine so if that's something you've kind of tried to do before or would like to do where you're kind of trying to decide I don't know let me give you a scenario like here is here's the cards you've got uh, like let's say I have this deck that I'm running and I have mini peck and I want to know if, and my other cards that I have in my in my overall set, is there a better card to be played, both in terms of ones I have and ones that could be upgraded? Well, that's a little bit more complicated of a question, right? And that's where, this, again, the tool might help. It's not so much looking up, like I showed you a simple example of what's Hog Rider level 7. You can almost do that faster Googling. It's the cross comparison of cards where this helps. Um, but let me show you how it works. And then um, if you like it, you can use it. Uh, basically, it's an Excel sheet, as you can tell. So if you don't have Excel, sorry, I'm not a software company. I'm not going to do it in Google Sheets. I like the formatting in Excel. So this is what you get. Um, and you can see here the, the blue areas are the areas you can key data into. The sheets are protected, so you can't really edit anything else. You can edit those blue areas. And on this tab specifically, Compare All, you can sort as well. Uh, and what that does is allows you to then go through and say, hey, you know what, I want to key my data in. So the first thing you would do is you would select all the rows and then sort at a, at a level for the name field, move it up, and then you would have them in alphabetical order and then you could go through your own deck and basically one by one say, all right, Hog Rider, level seven, right? And then you'd say Poison and you'd go over and put in level four and so on. So I've already done that and I just updated it to the 323 patch notes but once you're done with that, then the real question, back to the scenario, what's better, is there anything better for Mini P.E.K.K.A. at the level, that's where you want to use this group column. So I have a, a approach that I use for grouping, but if you don't like it, you can change. Again, it's one of the blue areas, so feel free to put other tags for the way you want to sort it. But once you've got it uh, with the tags you want in the group level, go ahead and just sort by group and then by a stat you want. And I'll tell you what stats are here right now. But before I do, there you can see that the DPS ground uh, is where we're at, and there's Mini Pekka, the card we want to analyze. It's six over overall uh, versus eight, so clearly there are other cards that are producing more value for the stat I was sorting on. But before I get to that, let me give you a thumbnail of the groups I've got, so you don't have to try to decipher. Uh, AOE area of effect, uh, AG air ground, AOE ground, so you know some units shoot both, some shoot just ground. Defensive buildings only, it's static. Uh, DPS means single shot units that shoot air ground, DPS ground, that's what a mini peck is. DPS path, those are the units like hog that only go for defensive buildings, so pathing is defensive buildings. Mass cards basically constantly are, sp some people call them spawner cards, uh, but they produce mass, that's so why I call them mass cards. And then S is for, uh, oh, for shield, S for shield, shield cards, and then S, shield, S kill is basically kill cards for shield. Um, something you have to consider, and then spot cards that you can play anywhere in the map, and then some support cards, Elixir, Collector, and Mirror. So those are the groups I'm using, but again, you can change them to what you want. Uh, the stats that have available, um, this is the overall stat sheet um, that that we have here. right? So there's all the data keyed in, but when you uh, pull it up into the single card view, uh, you got health points, damage, damage per second, damage on the crown tower, damage on death, spawn level of units if they spawn stuff, time, and then there's some stats I've created from that. HP times number sign, that's important because the stats you see on Wiki, if you're trying to compare cards, uh, cards that spawn multiple units, they only show you the stats for one of the units. So you have to multiply it by a number that are in there. So this actually 
uplifts the health points by the numbers deployed to give you HP times number. And then same thing for damage per second. Damage per second would also increase, right? So if there's three musketeers, you don't just want one musketeer stat, you want all three. Uh, so that's what that is. And then if you wanted to know what the value is, like for the elixir spent, how much health points do I put on the field? How much damage do I put on the field? That's this column here and here. So HP times number divided by elixir or damage per second times number divided by elixir. And then lastly, the column I sort on is HP plus DPS uh, times number, even though you can't see it, uh, divided by elixir, um, which gives you basically a feel of both stats together um, and then merged uh, divided by elixir to give you the value percent percentage. And that's what's giving me the sort here um, for DPS ground, right? So at that point, you know, really, again, the only thing you'd be doing, though, is you'd key in your number, you'd sort, and you'd be like, hmm, and you'd say, mini P.E.K.K.A., 6 over 8, and you'd say, all right, well, what's above it? And you'd say, all right, well, cannon's not bad. Uh, goblins are a little, but, you know, it's a static defense. So I don't, it doesn't really correlate to a mini P.E.K.K.A. Goblins are mobile, but uh, it's a little lighter. And actually, this deck that I showed you, this deck started with goblins in the stack, and it was having a hard time pushing in, so I was trying to get a little more DPS in, and so I swapped in the mini P.E.K.K.A. So I don't think I want to go back to Goblin. But Knight is a nice middle ground. I mean, we went from 2 to 4. This would be coming get me a little more agile because the Elixir is a little cheaper. Uh, but the Knight itself um, looks like it's giving better value in terms of the net stat. But we'd have to look in a little more detail to know for sure. And then to make sure we don't want to do the items above it, Barbarians and P.E.K.K.A.s are a little more expensive. We're getting less and less agile, less responsive as we get more cost on the field. So let's take a compare of the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Knight. And to do that, you can put in this column A, the X's you see are, are flagging. I'm flagging basically cards I have upgrade on. But the, uh, so I remember, but in, in actuality, the Knight card is level 8 at 429 but we'll upgrade it to 9 so we can compare it as if we upgraded it but if you put C1 and C2 the next part of the sheet the tab 2 here uh, turns on you know I'll, I'll give you an example we'll, we'll make it P.E.K.K.A. first we'll make C2 P.E.K.K.A. so if you go back see how now C2 this category is P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. here P.E.K.K.A. there so it's dynamically flipping to what you change it to so if I now flip it back to night because that's what I want to compare so now we've got Knight, Mini P.E.K.K.A. versus Knight. So this is showing you side by side of the levels, which really isn't, I've found not to be that much value, but I created it initially and haven't taken it off. Really where I spend a lot of the time looking at it is right here, this guy. Card comparison side by side. So you can see here, here the Mini P.E.K.K.A. at level 6 and the Knight at level 9. Uh, it tells you the hit points for both of them and then compares it and tells you. So basically I gained 312 hit points over the Mini P.E.K.K.A. So basically the Knight, for less cost, is giving me more health on the field, but it's dropping the DPS. So unlike the Mini P.E.K.K.A., the Knight can't, uh, so it might survive and deal a little bit longer damage over time, but it's almost like two times different. So it'd have to survive twice as long, and it definitely isn't twice as much health. So, you know, you can also look at it in terms of HP times number. It's the same numbers, of course, because both, they're both single cards, 144 and... 312. I don't know why that's not the same. 312, 960. That's weird. Oh, it's damage. Sorry. This is health points. Yeah, it's 312. These two numbers are the same. Uh, and then then the uh, the, num the times num divided by elixir it just tells the same story, but normalized by the elixir cost, which is important because actually you're getting back a little elixir with the knight. So there's my dilemma, right? So I can either give up the survivability of the P.E.K.K.A. with the damage it delivers. So it's, the Knight lives a little longer, but it doesn't, uh, but it doesn't deliver as much damage. But, it, but in terms of price to value, it doesn't look that bad, right, in terms of DPS to Elixir cost. And think about also the, you know, you got to think about the scenario your card runs, right? Well, how are you using that card in your deck? And with P.E.K.K.A., the reason why it's in there is usually I'm running in it in combination, either with the hog, if there's a bomb tower or elixir tower up, it's trying to shield the hog run and help the hog get that thing down quicker so that it continues it run to the tower. Um, and I don't know, maybe the knight will be able to do that. So it might be worth doing. But now you can kind of see how I'm thinking about it. We don't know to go, need to go into the gross detail of my thoughts of each my, my, my problem. 
But if it helps you, I'll put a I'll put a link in the comments below to this file, and uh, I'll maintain the change log so you can kind of see uh, if I update it. Like if you guys have ideas, feel free to also comment below if you have ideas of stats you'd like to see on it, uh, or you know if you think the grouping should really be a different way, feel free to comment about that. I'd be curious. I'm always interested in people how how the cards themselves should be grouped. Uh, I think that's an interesting question. Um, but yeah, so comment if you see edits or changes you think might make sense. But this is a tool I'm using, so if it helps you guys, I, I think that's great. Otherwise, uh, sorry. Sorry you don't use Excel, I guess, or don't care. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. What am I going to do? My clan sucks. Hey, it's JTJ. Uh, I think that's an all-out attack. No, no, it's the legendary JTJU. JT. This army. Download Clash of Clans for free. Then subscribe to JTJU and win.